In this video, I'll be making use of the word account. So account essentially means state reasons for or report on. This is from the HSC verbs list. That's what it means, account. So we need to account for the relationship between Earth's inter internal layers and plate tectonics. So internal layers basically just means inner layers or inside layers. Okay, so we need to find the relationship between, in other words, the internal layers of the Earth and plate tectonics. So it's four marks. In my head, I would think two marks would go to the description of each layer. Okay, I would go half a mark for the layer and its composition. In other words, what it's made of. Okay, so that's where two out of the four marks would go. And the remaining two marks would go towards the explanation uh, involving cause and effect. Okay, so one mark for the cause, one mark for the effect. Um, and as you know, it's the mantle that's responsible for driving uh, tectonic plate movement, typically. So, explanation with reference to mantle. May, may seem like a lot here, but I've just basically broken down the marks, where the marks would typically, typically go in a question like this, in, a, in a, an account question. So, to reiterate, two marks for uh, describing, and stating and describing each layer. Uh, in total, so half a mark because there's there's four layers, four main layers of the Earth, and two marks for um, explaining at the very end after mentioning all the layers, okay, with reference to the mantle. So here's how I would answer this question. I would start off by saying that Earth's interior consists of several layers, so full sentence, straight to the point, including... Including the solid outer crust, the semi solid mantle, the liquid outer core, and the solid inner core. So that's two marks right there. Okay, so I'll just highlight here. So half a mark for mentioning the crust. Oops. Crust, mantle, outer core, inner core. So there are my two marks there in total. Half plus half plus half plus half. It's two. So that's my two marks. Then the mantle's composition. and behavior play an important role in plate tectonic movement. So you can then write heat from the core creates convection currents I should mention here more specific. Yeah, okay. From the core creates convection currents within the mantle. So cause and effect. Okay, that's what explain means. The explanation. Cause is the the core itself. Okay, so the core. That's the cause. Uh, effect is convection currents in the mantle, resulting in movement of semi-solid rock, causing tectonic plates at the surface 
to move. Okay. And the effect also is uh, tectonic plate movement. So I'll tell you answer an account question involving uh, the relationship between Earth's inter internal layers and plate tectonics. So to summarize, it all starts in the core of the Earth. The, the extreme pressures and temperatures in the core, that the extreme temperatures, they drive uh, the movement of the semi-solid um, mantle, the semi-solid rock, and that um, causes convection currents. Convection, if you recall, means heat rises, and I'll use red, the heat to rise in the mantle, and then eventually sinks. Okay, that up and down movement causes tectonic plate um, movement on the surface of the Earth. And that's how tectonic plates move. That's one way of tectonic plate movement through uh, convection currents. Uh, so I'll leave you now with a question, an activity for you to do involving the, ver the verb account. So account for the different densities of the lithosphere. Densities of the, I should mention crust, and asthenosphere, and how tectonic plates can move about Earth's surface. This is a fairly straightforward question. Um, to help you out, just think of um, the crust and asthenosphere as being, uh, the crust as being like... Um, ice and the asthenosphere is being like water so ice and water the ice floats because the ice is uh, less dense so you can talk about that and then relate that to how tectonic plates move